Hey guys, it's Sun for Games. The original Tomb Raider on PlayStation 1 is one of the earliest games I can remember playing, giving me countless hours of both equal fun and frustration, uh, solving puzzles, flipping through the air, using dual-wielded pistols. It was just awesome. The reboot in 2013 brought a well-needed freshness to the series, introducing uh, some modern gameplay mechanics and stunning graphics, launching Lara Croft once more back into the spotlight. The follow-up, Rise of the Doom Raider, claims to have built upon that in every way, improving upon pacing, gameplay, storytelling, and most of all in the environment, with developers promising plenty more actual tombs this time around, an obvious must for a game with the title of Tomb Raider. So how to do? The original reboot was an amazing game a couple of years ago, so Rise of the Tomb Raider has a lot to live up to. I mean, short version, if you want the quick and dirty, it's a really solid game. I walked away quite happy with my experience and have absolutely no problems recommending it to anyone interested in Tomb Raider or that kind of like action adventure genre in general. That said, I don't find myself as wild this time around. Let's get into why. Let me know in the comments reasons you did or didn't like this title if you've played it, and definitely subscribe if you're new and you like chatting about games as much as I do. Alright, so first of all, the game is just beautiful, even on the Xbox One, which has been faulted across multiple games for its poorer image quality compared to its competitors. The beautiful vistas never fail to impress. It's certainly not a 60 FPS frame rate, but it's not low enough to bother me, and in most situations it seems to stay pretty high. On top of that, new technology and facial rendering that's used in this one has really improved upon emotional reactions in characters' faces, especially Lara's. Sometimes her open mouth wonder is a little over the top, kind of just like, but like it's still a really impressive display of emotion and adds a lot to making her appear to have realistic reactions to like the situation environments that she encounters, which are all obviously amazing. The story continues to be a great selling point. I mean, the developers clearly worked really hard in the presentation of the story and its characters. It's great to see Lara's previous outing have a huge impact on her as a person and watching her struggle emotionally with her previous experiences, but also display such a depth of confidence shaped by them really helps develop her as an interesting and impactful character. She's not the same Lara Croft that she was in 2013, and it shows in her actions. That said, while the story surrounding her isn't exactly bad, at times it just seemed to be kind of going through the paces. I can't help but feel that a few of the other characters could have been expanded upon a little bit after finishing the game. The gameplay continues to impress, and while the gunplay isn't the most fluid out of any action title out there, the tools at Lara's disposal and how she can craft weapons out of the environment to her advantage keep battles feeling fresh and exciting. Weapon and skill upgrades let you forge Lara into the kind of playstyle that you prefer as well, while still forcing you to branch from your tried and true techniques when new enemies are introduced to the fray. And for the first time in years, I find like I'm genuinely afraid of animals. <gasps> On a normal difficulty, they're not like, you know, the most life-threatening for the most part, but if you run into a bear or a mountain lion, like, you better be ready. <laughs> they can easily catch you off guard and tear your face off. <gasps> and run into them you will, especially if you spend time exploring the game's many optional tombs. Providing Lara with knowledge of the ancients, exploring these provides new opportunities for skills and tactics. Most are usually more than one-step puzzle, which is a nice step up from the last game, which honestly, were usually one-step puzzles. They still remain straightforward enough for a dumb grunt like me to be able to struggle through them, but I felt accomplished while not being frustrated. They were fun. Lara's options for how to navigate the environment have also grown by a few tricks, and there's plenty to do in terms of side quests and missions if you want. Uh, animal hunting is a side game in itself, and I'm kind of sad to say I didn't really partake in it as much as I could have by the time I completed the game. I probably would have had to work harder for those upgrades though if I'd playing on a harder difficulty than normal. My only complaint in that respect while navigating this beautifully crumbling ancient environment, uh, there are a few too many like, oh no, crumbles, like the platforms falling out, traps opening up beneath you. The first couple are terrifying, they catch you off guard, you're wiggling your way on an edge and the rocks fall out from under you and Lara, she barely regains her balance in time. Oh no. But then this happens like constantly. It's just like every time you're on a ledge, you expect something to go wrong. So when it does, it, there's no tension. You're just kind of like, oh yeah, it's another part of the climb. I've, that part was obviously gonna fall or some part was gonna fall. Oh no. Either making these events more dangerous or, or toning down their frequency a bit, I think could have gone a long way into introducing more tension into those moments. Ultimately, as I said before, I think it's a great game. I had a fun time, I enjoyed the story, and I could see myself going back for those side tombs and quests. Uh, there's clearly a ton of polish over the entire game, and, and plenty of opportunities to grow your skills and equipment. I think it just struggled to live up to the, the last one, which blew me away. But that's less of a failure of this game and more of a compliment to its predecessor. I highly recommend it to anyone who's a fan of the original, or, or the Uncharted games, or video games in general. <laughs> 
Let me know in the comments if you think this new direction of the Tomb Raider series is going is a good thing or not doing justice to the originals. Definitely subscribe if you're new and you've made it this far in the video. I've got plenty of new stuff coming each week. And I can't wait to see you guys back, so thanks for watching. They still remain straightforward enough for a dumb grunt me. Dumb grunt me. Dumb, see, that's exactly. Dumb grunt me struggle.